Hey guys, it's Stephanie and it's day eight, I believe. And I'm going to preschool because it's time to work again. Uh, last night I had like a million of thoughts that I'll have to update eventually because I have to like go now. Lots of thoughts on the future, lots of praying and I have been I gotta add my rock to my rock collection. Just remembered. <laughs> we'll see how things go. And one of the things that nature preaches is the truth that God is all powerful. Yay! <laughs> and nothing is impossible with, with God. Life of his okay, son, this Jesus is Christ. Literal. I mean, you can't miss I'm driving to piano and I realize, wow, I vlog every day. I'm not in LA. I need a yeah, remember that. I didn't vlog, I napped. But I'm on my way to piano, and I'm about to quit this job, actually. I'm kind of stressed out over it, and underpaid, and uh, it's just, it's really been messing with my mind. So, I know it's something I need to take out of my life, because it's a bit negative. I don't know how it's going to be done. Uh, I don't think she's going to offer to pay more, so that's why I say quit. So I've been really thinking about a lot of stuff that I need to update these vlogs on. And one of them... I feel bad, I was listening to that, but I just wanted to talk now. Um, one of them was school. <laughs> um, I'm like highly considering like actually going to school for what I want to do, but something more that directs it more towards doing it for God. And like that's ultimately what I think would be amazing and like using my video work for God, you know. After that though, like I'd love to help uh, video stuff at a church or something, but like I feel like God has been opening my eyes and showing me what could possibly be my calling. And that trip really got me thinking. And like I had wanted to move down south for a while. I have some journal entries and old Facebook posts that like would talk about it. And like I just, I didn't know as many people there, but like I did meet like two or something. Anyway, that's like I feel like God like opened some doors while I was down there and coming back here kind of like reminded me like okay That was you know your little glimpse of what could be if you're over there and now you're back here Here there's no mountain There's nice houses over here. I'm going to a piano, but yeah, there's no mountain <laughs> So I'm gonna be late though, but I need to continue talking so that's what's been going on and then I turned the radio on and as you could hear, it's like talking about like God is powerful and nothing is impossible with him and like that was just amazing. This is amazing timing. I'm just amazed. I gotta go. Bye! Men that they may see your good works. And then when they see your good works, uh, having a plan of salvation for God so the world coming. that he gave his only begotten son. Hi! <laughs> so um yeah, I just turned that on really quick and then thought I'd vlog. Um, so I did it. I let the mom know that I needed something with higher pay. Um, so it was kind of my way of saying I'm not expecting her to pay me more, but I'm not going to be able to do it because I need to make time for something else, for other stuff. Um, but as to not being completely rude, because I'm just, I'm duh, like too nice. <laughs> but it's not bad to be too nice, but I just feel so bad. And so I told her. I can at least come once a week until she finds someone, but she can't afford like the price. And I think that's why she kept me because I didn't say anything. And I said, well, I'll, um, I'll, I understand. That's why I'll do less time and I'll try to find someone who's willing to teach at that price that she had. She finally kind of understood and was like, okay. Um, but she's still trying to like keep me because she still wants some learning and stuff. So I'm gonna try to find someone who is like not really a beginner. I mean not a professional at all so they know how to play piano and maybe they'd be willing to sit it has to be a female which i understand because they're just they're little girls so she wants you know a female teacher someone can replace me and um i might have new students though that i'm able to actually earn more money from um that are paying like the it's still a lower pay than um like professional piano players because i'm not like I'm not like licensed and stuff like that so i can't like yeah, so I'm glad to not be able to have to go Saturday mornings because it's just such an underpain. It was stressing me out and At first I did it for like experience and I'm glad but now I really need to like make some time first Like I need to get another job or something like I still want to teach piano and um, So for now though like even though I'm going week I really hope I find someone to replace me, but even though I'll just go once a week I also have my other student every Thursday and 
and I really like teaching her she's a lot older so it's like not stressful and it's just more comforting for me because I mean I love kids I love watching kids but it's really hard to teach the young ones when there's like so many of them around or they don't want to listen to you having to go out of my way and having to like schedule it according to when my mom doesn't have the car and I don't get to eat dinner these days until like way later and it's just like that adds to it all and it's just complicated but anyway um long story short I'm only going once a week until I find someone to replace me and I told her that I plan on going to school so that's kind of what I need to talk about because yeah so this is vlog as I uh I know it's dark I probably could wait till home but you know me I'm driving I'm bored I'm gonna talk so um basically my plan is this I got really excited over the idea of actually going to school for something that I've always loved doing but see school means you get not only do you learn but you have the equipment that they provide you with and people and help and a team that excites me you know but on top of that um, I actually looked into a Christian school and what brought my attention to that school is um, as many remember when I met Tyler that's a school that he goes to he really likes it so I thought okay I'll just look up his school then since he spoke so highly of it and um, I noticed what change like change I didn't I mean I see um, compared to what he said how he was in the past I noticed that he's not really like that or anything because I didn't like know him in the past so I didn't see a change <laughs> I didn't mean to say it but um yeah it's just amazing like all the stuff that he said he was doing and how much it helped him and I thought well you know why am I not doing something about this you know so when I looked up his school I saw like what they offered and it's a, it's a university you know so it's it's a big step if I were to do it but they have like a um, cinematic arts production program and it looked amazing like everything it was listing like even had asked questions if this is for you and you answer them and I had a yes to every single answer especially to the one about um, do you like storytelling and I'm like yes I love telling a story through my video through my photographs through my music through my writing like I realized that that's what I wanted to do that's why I'm not so great at like directing things or setting up photo shoots with certain people because it's just I don't really have that and I'd rather just produce it myself just to tell that story like if I can't get anyone to help me I'll just do it myself you know and I'm like that's what I've practically been saying every time I tell people like I like to tell a story in my photo and so as I'm seeing that I'm like yes this is something I want to do and it started to excite me because first of all the school's in the south and after my trip like I really loved it down there it was, it's, there's a mountain there's like the mountains and the city life and it's just everything like mixed in one and more opportunities more people and it's more expensive but still and I got to make some friends down there and it just made me like so happy like the only one friend that I have here in town like close friend um, she is gonna be like getting a job and she wants to move and she's gonna be like moving on in her life and so I'm like that's cool you know like I'll, I'll feel a lot better knowing you know like the friends that I have here either the ones I like let go of or the one that I'm talking about is like gonna move on in her life too so we can like both do that you know and then visit each other I'm sure so I started getting really excited over the thought of going to school for something I would love and being somewhere else like I got to see you know over the past few days when I was in LA and it just made me feel like I could have purpose I could belong somewhere and like also see these friends that I made there that'd be cool too and just be there and so I talked to my mom about it um, to like kind of just get her like support or advice or see what she would say and she actually thought you know is this something you want to do and I was like yeah and then so she believed alongside me that you know God can do this it may be an expensive school but I didn't want I do not this time I do not want money to be the reason why I'm not doing it I'm willing to talk to find you know options of how to pay financial aid scholarships everything like I'm willing to you know take that like step and let God show so I feel like if God just led me to this for a reason like he brought me down to LA and these all came to my mind overnight if like that was his purpose or part of the purpose why all that happened then like I know that if this is what he wants for me which I want to use my talents for him I really do and I wasn't beforehand really I mean sometimes but just kind of just for Facebook really you know and I just I didn't have anyone helping me and I just like imagine having people helping me 
um, by helping, I mean, like a team and coming together and producing something, being a part of something, you know, and I'd probably make new friends and maybe be a little better at being social and open. And like, I know I'm like a lot open and like talkative now, but like I still, I don't, I still don't really do well with groups of like people that I don't know, like strangers and stuff, because I'm not really surrounded by that ever. And when I am, I'm like, what do I do? Like I couldn't, I was telling Tyler um, that I would wait for him at the church because I didn't want to get out and go into the church without him because I've never been there before and I didn't know anyone and yeah but anyway I ended up getting there at the same time as him so but anyway so that's pretty much what's been going on and I'm like really excited over the thought of this because like that'd be a big change you know like going back to school is a big change first of all but it's like I'm motivated to do it because it's not just going to school just for something you don't care about but like I'm really passionate over videos and I've not been doing them as much because life has just been kind of poop I guess you could say um feeling stubborn stuck and just almost hopeless in a way until I thought what and that's why I bought that ticket so spontaneously I was like I'm going I need to go and it just it just worked out I'm like amazed like it it just everything like fell into place during that trip and even my friends can't like canceled plans with me like that made me spend time with my little cousin and I bonded with her and like even that showed me something you know and that was just awesome and then I got to see those friends Sunday and then Tyler again and it was just an awesome trip and I'm gonna definitely be talking to my mom tonight and I really want to apply just just apply with full faith you know and like get all my stuff ready talk to a counselor and stuff like that and I know it's gonna be expensive but like I said I don't want money to be the reason why it doesn't happen you know what I mean like money is not an option or object wait what's what's the phrase oh my gosh basically I want to go there if this is what I truly want you know and I just I feel like I wanted this like my first thing I ever told people is like I wanted to be a producer <laughs> but now I don't mind just being anywhere in the field of like video but oh my goodness making videos to like share the faith and tell a story like doing that with all the equipment and help and like having projects and homework on it like that is it's weird but that excites me it's weird because i'm like i've been so I've, I've been out of school for like four years pretty much it would give me something to do a place to you know somewhere to be and like reason to be there and stuff instead of just finding a job and just moving there just to move there like i couldn't even find a job so i don't know maybe that's why no jobs were coming up because god was trying to lead me to the school i don't know I'm just thinking these things, but I'm like really thankful though, like for everything that happened. Even with Carrie and Callie, like they're going to school and like Carrie was talking to me about stuff and that, that just like really got me thinking like, I want to do something, I want to be like them, I want to do something with my life. And you know, even if it took this long for this to happen, like, I just, I'm not, I don't want to give up this time, you know, I don't, give, I'm not one to give up, I'm just go for it and I try and I try and this is, my mom told me, she's I know that when you want something, you go for it and you do it. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so um, another thing is this car that I'm sitting in right now, like my mom told me she will give it to me. Like she said that, but I just thought, you know, she needs it. She needs it. But she's really considering getting her own car soon, like a new one. And so she said she'll give it to me and I can trade it in later and buy another one, you know. But like this could be my car that I will have for L.A. and for moving there and for going to school there. And if that's the case, then God is good and my mom is amazing. And we're going to see. We'll see what happens.